What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today... We got top five snipe filters for you guys. And guys, if you guys can please get this video to 100 likes, that would be greatly appreciated. We'll do some giveaways if we do smash that like button. But yeah, today we're going to go over the best snipe filters in the game, in my opinion. It's top, it says top five. It might be a little more than top five, but yeah, we're going to go over it. But yeah, man, it's crazy. Guys, down below in the comments, let me know what I should do with my team. Should I get pink diamond glitch lebron to complete this team let me know what i should do to this team please down below let me know what i should do um personally i think this team's pretty good obviously i want to get rid of nash but honestly i think this team's pretty pretty good i think i need to do add a center over my boy richard jefferson down here i'll have yao but i'm gonna sell him i don't really like him i'm thinking about getting glitched ad i'll get pink diamond there and i'll get ad here or bam i would die or whatever yeah let me know in the comments down below. Please let me know what I should do to my team. But let's get into some market, or should I say, the snipe filters. Now, the number one snipe filter in the game, if you do get something, is the Galaxy Oval filter. Now, I'm going to say this. It doesn't pop up a lot. Like, you might sit here for hours and nothing will pop up. But it's not only that. If something does pop up, you probably won't get it. It's very competitive, but it is the best snipe filter in the game considering... There's only two players in it, MJ and Vince Carter, and they're getting pulled out of packs like crazy. And yeah, man, if you do pull one of these, congratulations. Like, literally, congratulations. That's all I have to say. They are super duper expensive. If you get one for 100k or less, you make a minimum 200k profit. So, if you do snipe one, congratulations. I have a snipe one. I missed one. I missed a Vince Carter. I think it was like 95k or 100k, something like that. And I missed it. Don't want to really talk about it. But yeah, I've really honestly been sitting on this filter for a really long time. Nothing has been popping up. If you guys did get something, let me know down in the comments or my Twitter. Also, if you don't follow my Twitter, please let me know. Follow that Twitter down below. It's at your bugs. But yeah, this filter is really good. Uh, a lot of people sent me snipes of it. A lot of people sent me sent, um, getting Galaxy Opals in packs. I pulled Michael Jordan in packs. That's why he's on my team. Thank God I pulled something. I pulled a lot of packs. I got MJ in my first 10 packs. When they first came out and then after that it was history man i got nothing so please try not to pop packs i recommend that uh next night filter i would try i think this is good i'm not totally sure though it's moments uh is it moments i think it's moments diamonds heat if that's a good i think that's a good snipe filter i'm not sure i think uh, it is it is okay so moments heat buyout now you want to look for bam uh or derrick jones now we got bam and derrick jones in this filter derrick jones is around 60 ish k and honestly i think i'm gonna pick him up he's really good i played with him yesterday if you didn't check out his gameplay check out my gameplay with him please go check it out but yeah this snipe filter right here now bams might be thrown up for 100k which is kind of an l but this snipe filter if you really want to rock with it i recommend people could throw up bams for a lot cheaper than 100k not only that you can snipe out derrick jones for the low so Try it out and let me know what's happening. I honestly got a Derrick Jones yesterday for around 60 and I sold him quickly. I my gameplay for 70, made like 3 KMT and I got a little gameplay in for you guys. So pretty big W, but yeah, I would honestly try sniping out this Derrick Jones. This Derrick Jones is a complete God. I'm not even kidding. Like I can compare him to Przingis. I can, dude, he's so good. He's 6'6", six, six, so I would put him at small, but he has 96 speed, bro. And yeah, he's just really good. He's really good. He has a 95 block, 89 steel, 87 perimeter. He's a stud, stud, stud. He has 100 dunk tendencies too. So if you're driving, he's probably going to dunk on anyone. So I honestly might start this card. I'm not even kidding. I might throw him on the end of my bench. And yeah. Next night filter we have is the glitch night filter. And if you get something out of this one, you're also rich. So... You want to look for LeBron, Ben Simmons, or J.R. Smith. Those are the only players in this filter. If you do get one of them, congratulations. If you got LeBron, you're going to make 300k minimum. 
If you got Ben Simmons, you'll make a... Uh, if you get him for 100K, I'm saying. So if you get Ben Simmons for around 100K, you'll probably make like 50K. If you get J.R. Smith for 100K, you'll probably make 100K. So this snipe filter is really good. I heard someone sniped out a pink Don LeBron for 100K. He tweeted at me. I still don't understand how. But yeah, if you do get one of these cards in these filters, you're pretty much going to make thousands of MT. Personally, man, it, it takes so long. So like for these snipe filters, you got to take like hours upon hours nothing might not pop up and then right when you get off the snipe filter i bet you something pops up that's the problem i'm having i'm an impatient kid i'm not gonna lie i'm very impatient with things so for this filter to be this slow i'm super impatient so like i literally do not want to do this at all like i don't so since i'm impatient it's kind of annoying sitting here and doing these filters but if you get one of them you make so much mt and honestly you could sell your mt and make money so if you get bored of it, but like you snipe, you're a really good sniper. You can literally make a living off selling MT if you really want, bro. So honestly, you can make money off it. Might as well try it, right? Um, if you get something, man, let me know, please, down below on the Twitter. Like this is crazy. If you get anything, please let me know. Another snipe filter for you guys. So now this one's weird. Honestly, no. I'm going to show you the Amethyst one first, and I'll get into the other one later. So, Amethyst, bro, you can do whatever you want for this one. There's pretty much anything you can pick up. There's a lot of cheap Amethyst, but, bro, this one's probably really consistent. So, as you can see, there's a ton of Amethyst stuff for the low. Um, I would honestly put your bid up right here. So, Bobby Jones is dirt cheap, 1800 MT, whatever. I would honestly, whatever pops up, pops up, you buy. Oh, right there. I'll take that. So, now, I just got that card. That's an easy like 1k profit. We just got Carly Towns for the 1500 MT. Now, this filter is actually really, really fast paced. So, realistically, anything you pop up should be deadly. Like, this Amethyst filter is going to be money. Stuff's going to pop up way faster. Kids are throwing up Amethyst for 500, 600, whatever. They don't really care. So, I really do recommend this filter. As you can see, I just got that cat for the low real quick. Oh, an MB. Take that. Like, yeah, this filter's really good. MB only goes for like 3K. But I'm going to make a solid 800 MT in seconds. So, roast this filter. And not only that, I honestly think they're going to go up in price. So, I really would say pick up some Amethyst and stack up. I would recommend it. So, this knife filter is really good for stacking and making that. Oh, my God. Yo, no. How did I miss that? I thought that was pretty quick, man. So, just missed a 500 Shaq. I don't know if he goes for that much, but yo, 500 MT for Shaq is a dub, is a dub, and I missed, so that's an L. This snipe filter, as you can see, is pretty, pretty damn good. I already got three snipes, even though I missed a Shaq. So yeah, let's get into this last snipe filter I want to show you. Now, this one is actually kind of confusing. Um, first off, I'm going to show you this one, and then I'm going to show you the next one. So, diamond filter, 2900. Why is it 2900? Because Earl Monroe and Donovan Mitchell ruined the filter and they're really that cheap. So, okay, 2900 3K, whatever it is. So, now I'm going to show you something. So, he's 2900 okay. So, now I want to press enabled so I don't see the Donovan Mitchells and whatnot. So, I go enabled, but for some reason, nothing pops up, which is super annoying. Since I do have in my collection, I do want to press enabled. I don't know if you guys have this problem, but yeah, nothing pops up even if I go through positions. Like, you just saw the Steve Smith, you saw the Dave Banks, you saw the Terry's, nothing pops up. Please, guys, let me know if you have this problem, too. So, since, honestly, I would put your thing up to, like, 17-ish K, and then scroll through positions on the Diamond Filter, that's going to probably be the best way. Like, now they show everything up, so I don't know, man. Like, it's super, super, super confusing, and it's really pissing me off. How I can't look up enable cards. Like, I don't know why they have the freaking thing if it doesn't even work. That's just me, though, I guess. Like, I don't understand how they have this and it doesn't work. So, whatever, man. It's broken. I don't know. Let me know if, it, if it's working for you. Also, I feel like the only one that has been working all day is small forward. So, if you want to try it out, small forward enabled, I would. That's literally the only one that's been working for me all day. Only small forwards. Everything else has not been working. So, if it's working for you. Ooh, I think that's a good price. I don't know. I'm actually going to go check that out. But yeah, that's really all I got. Those are my top snipe filters. If you guys have any other ideas, there's also the 500 snipe filter. I don't really like it. 
But yeah, if you guys have any other snipe filters I missed or you want to show me, please let me know down below. But yeah, that's really all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.